Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here with another prototype tip. And today we're gonna discuss the five most common mistakes to avoid when designing for sheet metal. So we help keep your projects moving by manufacturing your custom sheet metal and CNC machine parts in two to three days with no minimum order ever. Our goal is to make things as easy as possible too. You can use our free design software called Protocase Designer to make custom enclosures, brackets, or panels. Or you can start from a CAD template that you can create in our CAD template generator. Now at Protocase, your custom parts and enclosures are fully finished, meaning you can include hardware, fasteners, brackets, or any other accessories while also finishing it with powder coat or graphics. Now, as you can tell, there are multiple design areas that need to be taken into account before submitting your design. So we're going to go over some of the common mistakes that we see and avoiding these common mistakes will ensure that you get your project completed on time and to your exact specifications. So to start off with common mistake number one, we're going to talk about placing cutouts too close to the bend line. This one is definitely a common mistake that we see quite frequently. If you violate our minimum bend rules and place cutouts too close to the bend, then your cutout may stretch or flare out when the sides get bent by our press brakes or LVD machines. This can cause some serious issues, particularly if you are trying to fit components inside of a cutout. Now, with that being said, there are some instances where in order to accomplish your design goals, you may need to place a cutout closer to a bend. This problem can easily be avoided by using notches to leave your cutout in perfect form. Notching can be useful when you need a flange smaller than a minimum bend, you're doing bend sectioning, or if you need to accommodate standoffs, connectors, or PCI cards. Now remember, if you are unsure about notching, our engineering and design services team can apply these for you. For common mistake number two, picking the wrong finish or not using one when you need one for your end application. Now generally, a finish for a part or enclosure serves two different purposes, protection and aesthetics. At Protocase, a common finish is powder coat as it serves both purposes. It can prevent from minor scratches and it can give your part or enclosure a very vibrant look. However, there are instances where a bare metal finish is going to be required. We have no finish, which is best for economics but not for aesthetics. There's grain finish and media blasting finish, which is the most aesthetically pleasing of the bare metal finishes. An added bonus is that with these finishes, graphics can be applied with digital print or silkscreen and still look great. Parts with a vibratory finish can also look great, but it's more recommended for CNC machined parts. Chemical conversion and passivation finishes are meant to protect your parts by altering the properties of the outermost layer. Having your parts dipped in our chemfilm and passivation tanks is useful for giving your part improved electrical conductivity and provides a really great primer layer for adding powder coat on top of it. This process will also reduce corrosion of the parts over time. Now for common mistake number three, this is a quick one, but it's about how much thickness will be added to your part once powder coat is applied. An important tip to keep in mind is that once powder coat is applied, you need to allot an additional three to five thousandths of an inch per side on your cutout dimensions. So if you don't keep this in mind when designing, your cutouts may not be big enough to fit the required components that you're housing inside. For tip number four, we wanted to touch on having too tight of a bend radius. When a piece of sheet metal is getting bent, the resulting bend isn't exactly a perfect 90 degree angle. Instead, the bend will have a slight curve to it, or rather the corners will have a radius. Now, if the bend radius is made too tight, then it becomes a major weak point in the sheet metal. This could cause your part to break easily or deform, which will severely affect the components housed inside. We do have our bend radius charts on our website for you to check out and to understand the bend ratios of each metal before you begin your design. Now, a good thing to note, the harder and the thicker the metal, the greater the minimum bend radius. And again, the best advice is to consult our bend radius capabilities chart on our website for the material and thickness of your choice. For the last tip, number five, and this is my personal favorite, and it seems to be one of the most common mistakes, is not checking out our resources beforehand. Seriously, we do produce a lot of resources for you, the designer, to ensure that you have the most flawless experience ordering custom sheet metal parts and enclosures with us. We suggest that you do check out our website, which is filled with design guides, bend radius charts, tolerances, frequently asked questions, and much more. 
Also, check out our YouTube channel, which has a new video released every week and focuses on aspects of sheet metal and CNC design. Seriously, we want to make this experience of ordering with us as easy as humanly possible. A super important tip to remember here is that you always have the help of our engineering and design services team at your disposal. We can analyze your design, make recommendations, and even make the changes for you if need be. Now, this obviously isn't a full comprehensive list of common mistakes that we do see, but keeping these five in mind will greatly improve your chances of getting that very quick turnaround that we're known for. Well, that's it for today's video. Remember, if you avoid these common mistakes, it will help you with your project deadlines and prevent that needless back and forth communication to make sure that your design is manufacturable. Also, our team is always here to help. If you have any questions or want to discuss your design at all, please contact your Protocase account manager. Thank you for watching this week's Prototech Tip video, and we'll see you back here again next week.